Hey everyone, so today's video I wanted to do on my uh, labor delivery clinic bag, what I'm packing to take to the clinic. Um, I'm 37 weeks, gonna be 38 weeks on Sunday. Whew, let me catch my breath. 38 weeks on Sunday, and um, so I'm like, okay, I gotta get this bag ready because I mean, I'm not feeling contractions, but I'm feeling pain, discomfort. In the lower region so it's basically the baby position herself to get ready to make an entrance so um, you know I'm like okay I really gotta get this bag ready so I just want to share with you what I'm taking for her what I'm packing for me post you know post birth things like that uh, because I'm not going to be delivering the baby at a hospital I'm gonna be delivering her at a birthing center because I'm working with a midwife um, not with a OB GYN doctor um, and the reason why me personally why I decided to do or to go with a midwife is because I hospitals are kind of like traumatizing to me because of what I've gone through in the past with my with my two cancers so it's like uh, the hospital setting no and you know it, obviously you know if, if I had if there was like an emergency yes I would go to the hospital but the less intervention the more natural that it can be that's why um you know i decided to go with the birthing center or with the midwife so my plan is to deliver her in the tub so i'm gonna do a water birth so it's gonna be a really interesting since it is my first baby um you know it's gonna be quite an experience um so i'm just i'm really looking forward to it um, and just being able to meet her because obviously you know you see the ultrasound pics and it's that's nothing compared to you know to actually seeing her in the flesh to see her little cheeks her little nose so I cannot wait so let me go ahead and share with you or show you guys what I have packed for her because our birthing center is actually an hour away and the temperature is completely different somewhat especially at night because we live in the desert and an hour away once you leave the desert, it, it, it is much more cooler. So like at nighttime, where the clinic is at, it can get anywhere from, I think 30 to 40 at night. And then during the day, especially now since it's November, um, mid-November, I think, yeah, mid-November, mid um, it's like 70s. So it is quite a difference compared to the desert because like today, I think it was like 91 and then I'll go down to like, 75 so it's like you know that change so I have clothes to keep her warm um, blankets and things like that and also you know what I have packed for myself um, and little essentials here and there throughout the whole birthing process so let's get started with what I have packed for her so I have as far as blankets I have this one here super cute that way um, when the family gets to see her, she'll be wrapped in that blanket. And then on the way home to put over the, um, in the car, in the car seat, in the car, in the car, over the car seat, oh my goodness. I'm gonna <laughs> bring this one. And this one my mom actually made and it's so cute. I love the colors and it's so soft. So she handmade this and it is a little bit more bigger. But, um, so yeah, so I'm gonna take that one. So those two blankets. And then to keep her little head warm, I actually have three hats because I just don't know what size her head's gonna be. <laughs> so I have this little one with her little name on it, Emery J. So that one, I have this one. And then the one that my mom made that came with the blanket, which is this little one, super cute. So I have those for her. And then as far as clothes go, I just, I'm not sure like what how much she's gonna weigh you know how long she's gonna be so I brought like different sizes with me um where'd it go here it is okay so this one is newborn size and so her little pants so I got her little pants here with the shirt to go um, underneath the other other shirt so there's her little onesie and then the shirt to go over that and then I did bring some extra socks just in case, but I but her onesies have the little 
it covers her feet, but still, I just bought socks just in case. So her little socks and then hand mitts that's rolled up in here. So tiny, look at that. So cute. So I have that. So I brought the newborn and then I brought two onesies that are zero to three months, just in case, because like I said, I don't know. So I have this one there. And then the second one is this one here. Okay. And then I do have some extra little undershirts, like the little white onesies. So I have those. I brought like three. Because I don't know what if she decides to poop a lot and I gotta change her. <laughs> and then um, what I also did bring, which was a really good idea because I didn't think of it, or my husband and I didn't think of it. Because of Bentley or you know pets in general, you want the pet to get used to the baby smell. So what the midwife suggested was that we get like extra receiving blankets. So I got I think like four of these just in case. Um, so when she's born, the midwife will actually wipe her down and clean her up with these so that we can use these blankets um, to give to Bentley so that he can, you know, just smell it and get used to her scent so that when, you know, he gets to see her in person, you'll, he'll already be um, used to her scent that, way, scent. that way he can imprint. And then I'll just put these like in a Ziploc bag and then, you know, take them um, so that he can smell them. And then, so I got four of these. So I'll just put that there for now. Um, and then I also got her, here it is, her little hair brush, because, you know, just in case, I want to brush her hair. Um, that, and then this I have to sterilize still, but some pacifiers. I have that. Um, as, far, as far as the uh, clinic goes, or the birthing process itself, I did bring things too to kind of keep me entertained, relaxed. There was one more thing I had to show you for her. Oh, it's behind, it's behind me. Okay, one second, because I'm massive. Hold on. Okay. Look at this. Like, seriously, look, it has even a little, look at this. So this, we're gonna put her in on the way home because like I said, it, it does get cold where the clinic is at. And I'm not sure if it's gonna be in the middle of the night, during the day, I don't know, I just wanna be prepared. So I wanna keep her warm. So this little thing, my goodness, just like, I can't wait. <laughs> so I have that. Um, so that's pretty much it as far as her clothes, but I do have her diaper bag ready as well. Um, just to have that separate, just in case we need to stop somewhere, whatever, like at least I have her stuff ready in the diaper bag should we need to exit the car or whatever so here's her diaper bag and what I have in here I have her her little diapers so I just took like eight because after um, once I give birth and you know we wait there and the whole process of you know getting cleaned up make sure I'm okay baby's okay etc etc we end up going home like three hours later so I don't have to bring a whole bunch of stuff so I do have little pampers, I have it like, I think I said eight. Yeah, eight pampers, look how tiny. So I got those. And then I got a, the doTERRA diaper rash cream. So I have that, just in case. Changing pad, her little wipies. Um, what else do I have in here? I want to say there's more, but I can't remember. Oh wait, yeah, there is more. It's in the front part. So then I also have her little bibs and then some burping cloth just in case, cause I don't know, in case she spits up or something. <laughs> so I have that there. So that's pretty much it for the, for the diaper bag. Now, as far as like the things to keep me entertained or relaxed throughout the process, I created playlist on my phone to really help um with the mood depending you know how much pain i'm in you know do i want this do i want to hear that type of music um so i do you know country christian my, my worship music um like really um like the classical or, or zen music whatever that's really relaxing that has like waterfall sounds that um so i have playlists on my phone and then i also have um oops we're bringing this with us 
the Bose speaker so we can connect it um, to you know to the room so that way the room has that nice sound uh, my husband's gonna bring his laptop and that's pretty much it as far as like being entertained and then you know our family will be there but they'll be in the waiting room and then my mom um, the women can come in you know throughout the process but obviously when she's about to come out or I'm about to push or whatever everyone leaves it'll just be my husband and I the midwife and all the assistants um, there um, but you know my mom will come in and she'll help me because she is a massage therapist so I'm definitely gonna be needing her her magic hands <laughs> to help relax me and soothe any discomfort that I'm, I will be having um, and then as far as my stuff you know I'm not sure you know if I'm gonna bathe there afterwards like, I'm not sure but I'm just bringing some soap and then I have to pack a towel um, and then Dove soap this is the only soap for sensitive skin that helps or that works for me because I have really really bad eczema and that's the only soap that that works for me I've tried other stuff I've tried you know not some natural stuff too and nope does not it, it I, I don't react well so I must be allergic to some certain thing but with the Dove soap that actually helps me a lot um, I'm also gonna be bringing this here that is going to include the Earth Mama Organics, the nipple butter. So I'm gonna have that. I'm also gonna have the spray for down there. <laughs> so I have the same brand, Earth Mama, but it's for the spray down there. Um, some deodorant, of course. Some chapstick. Um, I may bring some makeup, but not like a full on face thing that I'm gonna do because no. <laughs> I'm gonna be so tired probably so no I'll probably just do like a kind of like right now even though it looks like I have nothing on and you can see my circles but whatever so it's just kind of just like a basic just to kind of just give me something and then fill in my eyebrows because my eyebrows are white and maybe like a tinted lip or something um, I'll bring it but who knows if I even put it on um, and then as far as essential oils go I'm totally bringing those with me and my diffuser because they do help relax me um, so I'm gonna be bringing the deep blue I have the big like tub not the tub but the squeeze bottle but I forgot to bring it in the room so it's over there but I do have some packets here so it's pretty much that you can see it yeah the deep blue so I brought like three plus the bottle and then some of the oils that I'm gonna be bringing with me to help with any discomfort and things like that um, so maybe bringing balance so maybe bringing balance wild orange because it's super uplifting and it just smells really nice aroma touch Siberian fur these are good for um, massages I'm also gonna be bringing lavender um, I have lavender and as a Lavender Touch is what it's called because it's in a roller bottle already and diluted with fractionated coconut oil. So I have that there. And then Clary Calm has Clary Sage in it and Clary Sage actually helps to um, induce. Um, so it is really good you know, for that. Now, I didn't get the full bottle of Clary Sage because I forgot to order it, but I had Clary Calm which is it has that in it with other essential oils but ladies though this is really good for your monthly if you get like really bad discomfort you just swipe this or roll it on your lower abdomen all over the belly that's what i would do or you would do it is so soothing and it helps relieve the discomfort i am not kidding you um it's it's pretty amazing what it can do so instead of taking like, you know, the pain pills, um, just do that. And it's it's natural. You don't got to worry about any of the chemicals in those pills. So that's what I got for the essential oils. Um, now let's go to what I'm bringing for me as far as change of clothes and things like that. Um, let's see here. Oh, and I also did get washcloths for the baby because I don't know 
if they're gonna give her her first bath there. Like I have, I still, I forgot to ask that too. I'm very forgetful, pregnancy. But I will ask my midwife on my next visit, which is next week. So, washcloths, and then I have the doTERRA hair and baby body. Um, to give her a bath, if they do give her a bath there. Okay, so back to what I'm bringing for me. So, my plan, I, I need to pack a robe. Um, so I need to get that. But I'm going to be wearing, and I'm just going to toss this because it's going to be, I just got this really, really, really cheap sports bra because I could not find a bathing suit that was cheaper than like, bathing suits are expensive. And I'm only going to be using it and it's gonna be super dirty, so I was like, why am I gonna spend all that money for it to be tossed? So I found this cheap sports bra that I'm gonna use, for, you know, in the in the birth tub because I am not, I am not the girl to be like, hey, you know, free spirit, you know, free spirit. I'm not gonna be all nude <laughs> in the birth tub. No, not, not that's not me. Or walking around. Nope. So I'm very modest. So I'm gonna have this on with you know something on underneath as well and then my robe and then obviously when it's time to push you know i have to remove some articles of clothing but yeah so just a cheap one ladies if, if you're the same way you want to be modest or you know you're modest just get a cheap sports bra don't get anything expensive because it's gonna get dirty and you can just toss it so um i have some postpartum undies that i bought as well um and they're high-waisted to really help um push or support as far as like the, the uterus and all to help support that to go back in place so they look ginormous <laughs> but yeah there we go postpartum right there so there you go so I, I brought uh, two but I'm gonna bring one more just in case because you know whatever I want to make sure I'm prepared and not be missing something so I have that oh I also brought just some cheap or not cheap, but just some plastic Walmart bags so that way I can like toss any like dirty clothes or whatever and then bring it home. Um, now as far as clothing girl goes, aside from the postpartum panties, I did get, um, I did bring a a nursing bra. So I have a nursing bra that I'm packing on in there, and then I also have some. Um, oh my goodness, what am I drawing a blank? What is this called? nursing pads in case I start leaking I have these um, oh I also have this this is gonna be great so this is basically oh, there's a sign on there but ladies this is good to have as the squeegee bottle to really help you know cleanse down there since you can't really wipe after after you give birth so you know, you can use the restroom, do your thing, and then use the squeegee bottle to really kind of like cleanse down there. So I have that. <clears throat> and then I also have, um, as far as clothes go, I have a pair of PJ pants um, with a t-shirt. And listen, you don't have to be all like fashionable. Like you want to be comfortable. And you're going to ex and expect to get dirty because, you know, it happens. So honestly, what I did throughout this whole pregnancy, I was like, I can't be spending or want to spend so much money for maternity clothes. So what I basically did, aside from certain things, like once I got to a, to a certain trimester, I couldn't fit into the jeans. So I ended up going to the maternity store at the mall and getting maternity jeans. Um, but the rest of my clothes, like every, this that you see, the shirt, this shirt actually I think I got at Walmart for like six bucks but and, and uh, this one thrift store so mostly all my clothes was thrift store because it's like you're only gonna use it once and you, you know it's you're pregnant you're not gonna be like that forever so I'm like I'm not spending all that money I can just go to thrift store and do that so that's basically what I did with the PJ pants um, and then to go home I'm not planning on wearing jeans because you need to keep yourself, you know, you need to air out down there and not use anything tight because of, you know, you're healing. So I'm just gonna go home with a pair of black sweats and a long sleeve shirt. That's all I'm gonna do, nothing fancy. Cause you wanna be comfortable. 
So, um, and then I have some socks and I'm bringing my sneakers because really that's the only pair of shoes that I can wear because my feet are swollen and they hurt and nothing fits. So just my sneakers. And then while being in the clinic, like I have my little fuzzy socks so I can just use these walk, and ra walk around so I'm not barefoot. Um, I also have a packet of pads. That way I know they're going to provide me with the postpartum underwear pad thing um, but just in case I just I just like to be prepared no matter what so I have this and then I also have um, the witch hazel pads right there to, to what I plan on doing is putting it on the pad and then you know putting it on that way it helps with the cooling and any ir irritations I may have. So I have that there as well. And then, I'm sure I'm, I'm forgetting something, but, oh yeah, so like if I wanna refresh like my face, you know, from sweating or whatever, I'll bring my face wash, but I'm not gonna pack that yet because I use it, you know, every day. So any of the everyday things, like my toothbrush, toothpaste, those type of things, that will be put in like last minute, right, we're about to leave. Um, and then I also have this, is a nursing wrap so I had brought this with me but this this specific one you can actually even put over or cover the um, what's it called the car seat because I don't want the baby to get that cold air once we leave the clinic because I don't want her getting sick or anything like that so um, and then I'll pack my husband a change of clothes as well um, because the midwife they say you know you're gonna get dirty so bring extra clothes um, and then what I'm also going to do is bring like a bag full of like snacks and stuff. So like protein bars, protein, like the ready-made protein shakes, just things like that so I can have, so that I can eat throughout. Um, cause you are able to eat, um, with, uh, at the clinic. <clears throat> and then if I, if we get really hungry, maybe we'll do like a Uber Eats or DoorDash type thing. Um, but that's pretty much it as far as what I'm bringing to the clinic. And um, so yeah, I mean, this is like, it's crazy. It's so exciting. I'm a little nervous as well because you know, it's my first time, but I'm just so happy, like so happy. And I cannot believe that this is actually happening because I'm not gonna start crying. I'm so super emotional. Um, Cause I didn't think I would ever be able to have a baby because of what I've gone through so I'm so thankful so thankful to God that he has given my husband and I this precious gift and um, just thank you Lord thank you Lord for this amazing amazing precious gift and I cannot wait to see her to see her little chunky self <laughs> and all her hair and it's like, I wonder what she's going to look like. You know, who she's going to look like. Will she have light eyes? Because light eyes run on both, you know, my husband and I's side of the family. So, so pretty soon, pretty soon we'll get to see her. And then you'll get to see her as well. Because obviously, you know, I'll, I'll introduce her to you guys. So, um, yeah. So, it's super exciting. And hopefully, I'm praying, maybe this weekend. Or maybe another week or two so um so yeah guys keep us in your prayers that everything goes well and that yeah so thank you guys for all your love and support and keeping us in your prayers as well because this has been such such an amazing blessing so i will talk to you guys soon bye